What's up guys? My name is Natalie and welcome to my Nick of Novels. Today I'm going to be choosing my October TBR using my wheel. If you are new here, basically all that I do is I spin this wheel to choose the books that I read using the prompts that it lands on, but I'm going to be switching things up a little bit this month because I feel like being more chaotic today. So basically it's something that I am going to start doing next year, or at least that's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes this month and see if I like doing it this way and how well it works, things like that. Basically, I normally would spin this six times to choose six books but instead I'm going to be actually spinning it I haven't actually decided on a number I'm gonna spin it ten times I'm going to double up triple up quadruple up on prompts just to see how few books I can possibly read for the amount of times that I spin the wheel normally I would pick a punishment book out of my punishment bag to see what book I would have to read if I do not end up completing my TBR for this month but I've also decided that I'm not going to be giving myself any more punishments for the rest of the year because I'm just stressed in general and I have a lot to do and recently getting through TBRs is just not a thing that I've been able to do so I'm trying to focus for now on just reading what I want to read and not having to read a punishment. Normally I do end up liking them anyway but I just don't want to be stressed out about having to finish the TBR and I'm not even going to be super strict on myself about actually reading the books on it at all so I may end up just completely just regarding it and reading whatever I want, but I'm going to try my best to stick to it. I guess without further ado, let's get into spin number one. So it's just barely on spine color. So this means that I'm going to spin it again and whatever color it lands on has to be on the spine of the book that I choose. So I need a book with a purple spine. And so obviously, like I said, I'll be doubling, tripling, quadrupling up on prompts. So I'm not going to specifically pick a book right this second, but I will just show you guys some examples of things that I could do for this prompt. And at the end, I will see kind of what the general TBR is looking like that I'm thinking I will probably read. A couple other things that I forgot to mention a second ago. I am going to allow myself to put books from my September TBR on this TBR because I'm probably not going to actually get to them in the month of September. The only book that I'm really anticipating finishing is One of Us is Lying. I also have this punishment book that I've been meaning to read forever. I'm going to let myself put it on the TBR as well because I'm actually really excited about it and do want to read it, but I don't think that I will let myself prioritize it if I have another TBR to get through, if that makes sense. So yeah, I will also be letting myself put this on the TBR if it comes up. And also, whenever I land on the same space twice in a row, I will be adding a spin. I feel like my phone might be crooked. That's a thing that I say quite often. I feel like it's just so hard to tell with the way that it sits whether it's straight or not, but anyway. Really the main book that sticks out to me for this one is Orange Volume 2. I haven't read Orange Volume 1 yet, but they're both ones that I would like to get to, and this dude is wearing a purple jacket on the spine, so that counts for that. I'm sure there's a couple other options that I could go with, but that's just the main one that I'm most likely to go with, so yeah. I'm going to switch out the prompt for this one which is random spinner. Okay, this hasn't come up before, but I have a spinner on my phone that has every single book on my physical TBR on it. And I will just spin that three times and pick between the three that it chooses. Spin number two. And it landed on the same space twice in a row. So I will be doing 11 spins this month. That is always exciting. I'm gonna get a screen recorder. While I am waiting on my screen recorder app to download, I'm just gonna mention real quick that I got a couple of books from the bookstore today and I'm really excited about them. I got Mr. Lightbulb by this dude's name I cannot pronounce. If any of you can pronounce that, you deserve an award. It's Polish, I think, but watch heck was this sick maybe. It's a graphic novel and it's just about this dude who I'm not really sure. I've started reading it. Basically, it's very metaphorical. His dad is flattened into like a pancake shape because of his job. Basically, their family's really poor and he's just trying to get by. It's giving Persepolis vibes. I'm definitely really enjoying it so far and I'm loving all the metaphorical stuff as well as A Little Life by Hanya Yanagahara. I basically know nothing about this book except that it's super depressing. My 
friend and me like collectively own this because my friend bought it but we're both gonna read it and it's super super floppy and it's really long which i already knew but i read the first couple sentences of it and i'm excited i really want to read it now so yeah okay so i will insert the spinner thing here books as you can see there are a lot of them on here so i will spin it three times oh it's a shakespeare i disregard shakespeare things um because i don't want to read them it's another shakespeare most of my tbr is shakespeare to be honest so this could be wild okay allies and assassins so we have that one um to the queen another shakespeare another shakespeare <laughs> another Shakespeare. I'm pretty sure that was the first one that spun. Um, Allies and Assassins again. I do not think this thing is very random, you guys. Um, Edward III. We might be here for a while. Y'all might want to get comfy because... Okay, that's exciting. Okay, so Our Violent Ends is the second book that it chose, and now it's probably going to take a year to <laughs> choose another book. Um because it likes to pick Shakespeare a lot. This is gonna be the world's longest screen recording. Okay, so honestly, all three of these are quite exciting options. So the first one is Allies and Assassins by Justin Somber. I don't really know much about this to be honest with you guys, but it's just a YA fantasy that I picked up a while ago because I thought it sounded interesting and I don't remember anything about it, but we love a random, possibly hidden gem of a book that we know nothing about. So that's the first option. The next one is Our Violent Ends. I'm covering up the library sticker thingy because it's it's a library book, but it's a sequel to These Violent Delights, which I really enjoyed. Definitely going to be choosing this one for that prompt, I think, because I'm going to be reading that anyway. And then An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. This is a John Green book, so I know I'm going to love it so much. I know nothing about it, though, but it's obviously going to be amazing because of John Green. Switching out the random spinner prompt for a tall book. This came up last month, I think, and I also chose our violent ends for that one as well. So number three. TBR jar. It really likes that side of the wheel for some reason, but anyway, TBR jar. I am going to randomly pick three out of here and choose one of them to read. I just got dust everywhere. Oh my gosh. I don't switch out the TBR jar prompt, so on to spin number four. Question mark. So that means I'm going to randomly pick a prompt, and I will not know what it is yet, obviously, until I pick it, and I have to fulfill that prompt right away. So our prompt for the question mark is YA. So a YA book. I have plenty of options for that one. So again, I could go with Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong. I could also go with Orange Volume 1 by Ichigo Takano, as well as The Hunted by Charlie Higson, which is the sixth book in the Enemy series. There's also Mr. Lightbulb, but I don't know if it's YA or not. I've started reading it already, but I don't really know. So those are the main options, it looks like. Okay, so switching out question mark for an ugly cover. Spin number five. Cover color. So that means that I will spin the wheel again and whatever color it lands on has to be on the cover of the book that I choose. Again, purple. So An Abundance of Catherine's has a slight bit of purple on it because of the bathtub. We also have The Scorch Trials by James Dashner, which I technically never finished. I started it in June, I think, and got to the very end and never finished it. But it has a slight bit of purpley blue at the top, which I would consider purple for the sake of the prompt. Switching out cover color for a small book. So 250 pages or less. Spin number six. TBR jar again. Spin number seven. 
TBR jar again. I am starting to dislike that prompt. I feel like it works very poorly for this type of TBR because I'm trying to just have a large number of prompts that I can mix and match things with and it's making it difficult, which is unfortunate. It's fine. <laughs> kind of really disliking this TBR jar thing. You know what I think I'm gonna do is to ignore that prompt because it's kind of making me mad and screwing up my TBR. So I'm gonna actually just disregard all of that because I don't like it. It's giving me a bunch of books I don't want to read. This would technically be spin number five if we disregard all of those, which honestly sounds magnificent. So we're backing up. Spin number five. <laughs> Entire series lovely. You know what entire series I would love to read? The Orange Duology. I have Orange Volumes 1 and 2 by Chigo Takano, which that sounds lovely. I am not complaining about that prompt because I want to read both of those. Also, this is kind of cheating a little bit because it's not the entire series, but I have the Invincible Compendium 1. I have all three compendiums of it, but this is like a lot of graphic novels in one so i could be nice to myself and count that as an entire series because it's like a lot of a series switching out the prompt for letter generator so i will generate a random number one to three and depending on which one of those that it is i will either generate a letter for the title the author's first name or the author's last name that probably sounds kind of confusing but it'll make sense when i actually do it spin number six a tall book and our violent ends is a tall book also invincible compendium one is a tall book and i really want to read it how to by randall monroe is also pretty tall this is another one that i never finished for no reason in particular but if you look at it compared to like the hunted the hunt is also pretty tall definitely have some options for that one switching out to tall book for most recently acquired, which this would make me so happy if it came up. Spin number seven out of 11. The smallest book on my TBR. So I'm going to go to my Goodreads and sort by page number. And whatever the smallest three books are on my TBR, I'm going to choose between those three. Okay, I'm not really sure if this is in the right order. I think it is. So the Invincible comics um, are like a thousand pages or so, um, but I don't think that it knows that, so I just kind of put them at the bottom. <laughs> so I could technically do that. I also have Spirit Animals. I could go with the next book in the Expanse series, which would be a short story, which is Gods of Risk. I could do a Magic Treehouse book. So I definitely have some options. I would not hate reading gods of risk that sounds like a good choice i'm definitely interested in that but also i really want to read the invincible compendium so i might just count that for that prompt as well since goodreads does say that invincible volume 2 is one of the shortest books on my tbr so it doesn't matter that it's also the longest right switching out smallest book for series so a book in a series spin number eight Add one book so that just means that i'm going to be adding another spin and spinning this thing 12 times now author initials i didn't show you guys me picking that out but i promise i didn't look so just a book with an author who their initials are on the cover spin number eight again a small book so 250 pages or less none of the books i want to read are small <laughs> i could go with gods of risk because that's a short story so it's probably like 50 pages or so and abundance of catherine's is also really short the last part before the acknowledgments is on page 227 so it's definitely under 250 pages yeah i don't really think there's anything else super short that i'm in the mood for right now so i will probably go with like i said either gods of risk or an abundance of catherine's so switching out small book for a hypes book spin number nine <laughs> number nine again 
a seasonal read. So I'm thinking something spooky because it is October. So I could definitely go with The Hunted. There is a hair. The Hunted by Charlie Hickson because it's a zombie book, which is spooky. I also could go with Frankenstein, but eh, kind of not really feeling that one. The Scorch Trials is also kind of spooky because there's these zombie sort of people. <laughs> it also has to do with scary diseased people. So could go with this one. Those are the main options for that, I think. Switching out to seasonal read for a hardcover. Spin number 10. A book with an ugly cover. All of these books have pretty covers. Okay, The Firm is not my favorite cover because it's just kind of a table and some chairs and a window. The Scorch Trials is kind of ugly. I don't know how I feel about it. Honestly though, Invincible. This isn't my favorite cover. It could be better. It could be more exciting. The switching ugly cover for between 250 and 450 pages. Spin number 11. Skip. So that means I do not have to pick a prompt for the spin. So I will switch that prompt out for skeptical. So a book I'm skeptical about or I'm not really sure if I'm going to like it or not. Spin number 12. Most recently acquired, which is really exciting. Like I said before, I got two new books today. One of those is Mr. Lightbulb and one is A Little Life. So I could go with either one of these for that prompt. Okay, now I'm going to look at my prompts and the pile of books I have in front of me and try to choose which ones that I want to try and fit with which prompts and see how few I can get it down to. I also forgot to switch out the most recently acquired prompt, so I'm going to switch that one for any book. So I think I have it narrowed down to what I want to read for what prompts. This is subject to change. Really, I'm not going to pay too much attention to this. I'm kind of just planning on mood reading and picking up whatever my heart desires next month. But the tentative-ish sort of looking TBR is for the prompts Tall Book, YA, and Random Spinner. I'm going with Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong. For seasonal read and cover color, I'm going with The Scorch Trials and also possibly Ugly Cover, but I also really want to read Invincible this month, so I might use Ugly Cover for that. For entire series and spine color, I'm going with Orange Volumes 1 and 2 because Orange Volume 2 had the purple on the spine of that one. For small book and smallest book, I'm going with Gods of Risk by James S.I. Corey, which is the two and a half the book of the Expanse series. And for most recently acquired, I'm going with Mr. Lightbulb by Watchtech Wasis Sick, something like that. So yeah. And then I also have the skip prompt, which means I don't have to pick anything for that. So yeah, this was kind of fun. It was definitely quite different from what I normally do. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I definitely think that I will enjoy having a more chill reading month. This would definitely be exciting, I think, to actually try to follow a TBR like this. I think it could definitely be fun. So let me know if you guys enjoyed it. If this is something that you guys would be interested in seeing me do throughout next year, then do let me know. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed and hit the notification bell if you would like to see the other videos that I post on Tuesdays. My bookstagram and Goodreads will be linked in the description if you guys would like to check out either of those. Comment down below what you are planning on reading in the month of October. I will have the playlist to my other Wheel of TBR videos linked in the description as well if you guys would like to check out that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!